One, two, three. Welcome. Yeah, where's Tammy? Let's get on with Let's the show. Let's do it. Let's go. What's up, everybody? I'm Tammy Harrison, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Mix Cocktail Hour, coming to you live from my favorite place in the whole wide world called Awesome Town. We have a fantastic show planned for you guys today. It is all about l'amour, the love for the taste buds, because we're gonna be mixing up some fantastic Valentine's cocktails for you guys today. So without further ado, I would like to introduce my co-host, my lobster when it comes to the cocktail world, Scott. Kushman! Yes, Tammy! Yay! Woo! Yeah! We're back! We're back together! Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, we well, totally, we just totally missed that. that. Thank goodness this was here. Yeah. Let's make a lost an eye. All right, I say let's um, get to the first Valentine's Day. Sure. Drink. So, Tammy, you know that uh, I am not a wasteful human. No. So, I know that in the next few days, yeah. a lot of people are going to have a lot of. Uh, roses in yeah. their life. So I wanted to find ways to use that rose mm -hmm. uh, to make cocktails today. So uh, we're going to start off with uh, something uh, called the Juliet and Romeo. <gasps> Ooh, yes, okay. uh, like very the, love, the very love thread. oriented. Let's start to uh, make this thing though, okay. Tammy, if you don't mind. Yes. Uh, we are going to start off with uh, a bunch of uh, veggies. Bunch of veggies. Veggies. Uh, it goes in a salad. That is a vegetable. We're gonna cut off two of these little cucumber squares, one to two. If you'd like the other two, Tam, I don't know if you are a fan of cucumbers. I like you cucumbers. Can have those. Yeah, not, sure, not, I don't know where your hands have been. All over this cucumber. Exactly. So definitely, like, they've, they've definitely touched I every part of this that cucumber right now. that then went into the drink. So mm. yeah. Uh, next thing we're gonna be doing is taking some of this uh, delicious mint. Uh, we want to just sort of brighten this cocktail up. We also are going to be throwing in uh, some bitters. Uh, over here, this is bartender ketchup, Angostura yep. bitters. We throw okay. this in everything. Three big dashes. One, two, three. Those were little dashes. Yeah. There we go. Plenty. And then we are going to take some of this guy. This is the theme of our show, Tammy. This is rose water. Nice. Yes, uh, rose water. You can make rose water at home. Uh, there's a whole way to do it. Uh, but I swear, it costs you about $40, uh, $40 a cup uh, to make rose water at home. Uh, don't do it. That's just too expensive. Uh, these guys make plenty good rose water. Let's go ahead and give this three big dashes. One, two, three. Beautiful. Uh, if it doesn't come out, I'd give it more dashes, Tammy. That's, how, that's, I know that's you. the end of the game. I know you. Uh, we now have to express all this stuff into our mixture. Uh, so I have this guy right here. This is some honey. Uh, we're going to take three quarters of an ounce of runny honey. Runny honey. Runny honey. Two One parts, of my faves. Two parts honey, Tammy and one part water as it goes. Uh -huh. uh, next, uh, we have to balance uh, that honey uh, with some of the sour. Uh, the sour we're gonna be using today is going to be some lime. I'm going to go ahead and do the lime the proper wow. way. I don't think I've ever seen you cut a lime like that. Is that right? Yep. Oh, well, let me explain what I'm doing then. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what I started here, uh, I started with a lime like this. Yeah. Uh, I ninja it and yeah. it fell apart. Uh, which is really nice. Uh, what I've done though is I'm trying to uh, get rid of this guy right in here. I'm trying to cut this out of here, this little column mm -hmm. that lives in here. This is what's giving the lime all of its structure and it is what is holding you back from getting all of the juice that you need from your mm. lime. This is uh, Constantino Ribialto Vertu I will talk about later. Uh, this was his method uh, for getting this done. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and squeeze this guy uh, in here, each by hand as much as possible. Oh, see, I was gonna say, I've got like... I didn't see that, Tammy, and I panicked, so I started cutting the, the lime instead. That's sort of how this works. Got one of these here. <laughs> that's sort of how, that's sort of how things happen. House. I looked. I looked down to my immediate bottom oh. and could not find them. So you that. made up a story about cutting the lime? It's a real story. It's just, you know, listen, I'm, okay. I, I had to come up with something. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this all squeezes. Now, what is that doing, Tammy? That is giving us all of the oils yeah. uh, and everything uh, that go in here. I'm gonna throw that all away. Definitely got lime in my eye, so that's gonna be- well, Don't a, touch your eye. That's well, like I, touching chili and then touching your eye, isn't it? Tammy, I, I understand what I've done wrong. 
I was just I was just looking just looking for some sort of compassion. I couldn't no, get it. Zero. zero. You get from me. Zero. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Uh, last thing we do have to put in here is going to be some fabulous gin. I was gonna say, when's Why the not? alcohol coming Why in not, there? Candy? We're gonna put all that stuff in. Uh, we put the alcohol in as late as possible, just in case we start making mistakes. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and put in two full ounces of delicious London dry gin. Uh, London dry, just meaning it has its botanicals added when? Afterwards. Beforehand. Good work, though. Uh, right beforehand, before the distillation, Tammy, uh, we put all of those things in. It was a trick answer. I wanted to see if you knew. That's true. Tammy does quiz me all the time like that. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. There's always gonna be some clapping in there. Really good. Okay. Really Thank excellent. You. Thank you. Really, really excellent. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab our tea strainer. We just don't want oh, any of those mint. Oh, you're gonna mint, double strain. Okay. Yeah, any of those mint uh, bits in there. We don't want all of that. Ooh, that looks pretty. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah. Got kind of a pink, a little color. Uh, I have one last ingredient right here. Uh, this, uh, I have made this at home. It's not hard to make at home. Okay. Uh, it is one part salt and four parts water. It's a saline solution. Oh, okay, yeah. But mine is pink salt. Yes. Uh, so look, oh. it matches the roses. Look nice. how pretty that is. We're gonna go ahead and give that just a little spray in there. Uh, we're gonna take this guy, uh, this cucumber. We want the outside of this cucumber. We want all of that rind. Like a shooky kooky, we call these. Give that a twist. Let that live inside of this cocktail. That. And there you have it, Tam. You have a Juliet and Romeo. Right. It has a lot of interesting flavors, uh, somewhat muted uh, all over the place, should be nice and balanced. Ooh, it smells fresh and delicious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You do taste that little balance of the savory, the sour, the salt. Yum. 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 The Romeo and Juliet. No, the Juliet and Romeo, is it? The Juliet and Romeo. The Juliet and Romeo, that's correct. The Juliet How and Romeo. How many of these have you had before the show? Uh, Scott? Many. Too many. That's why I put the gin in last, because oh, okay. I didn't want to uh, make a mistake there. Yum. Drink number two. Drink number two. Let's get to it. Tammy, you're going to make drink number two. <gasps> so this drink is a historical drink. I uh, love we know historical that, drinks. Yeah, we know that after uh, 1919, the United States, yes. uh, we went into prohibition. Yes. So a lot of bartenders uh, left. They left the United States, they went all over the place. One of the places they landed is a, a little town, a little town uh, called Paris. Okay. Because uh, you can't drink in America, you might as well go somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, and so people started bringing uh, the ideas of American cocktails out uh, to Paris. And this is one of those. This drink uh, does not have any rose in it. Okay. But the name of the drink is the rose or the rose cocktail. Oh. Uh, has some interesting ingredients. Uh, so let's begin to build uh, that. Okay. Uh, cool. I'm going to hand you the ingredients as we go. Yes. Uh, Tammy, uh, you're going to need, why don't you use my uh, jigger? It's just slightly easier. It has uh, all the ingredients the that you two need. ounces in the big one? Yeah, yeah. Two ounces, one ounce. Uh, we're going to start off with two ounces of dry vermouth. That's a lot. It's a lot of vermouth. It is a vermouth-based yeah, cocktail. That's unusual. Uh, there is more, yeah, it's not a, not often that you find yeah. American cocktails that have that much vermouth in them. Okay. So two full ounces of that, if you don't mind. Okay. I do not mind. Perfect. Uh, next is something uh, that I think you'll recognize. Kirschwasser. Kirschwasser. This is Kirschwasser. Kirschwasser, uh, Kirschwasser means? Uh, cherry water. Cherry water. So this is cherry brandy. Uh, it is distilled from cherry. So it's not brandy that has cherry added to it later. Okay. It actually is made of cherries. I always wonder though, why is it white? Uh, well, because it's just like anything that starts off, as anything that's distilled is white because oh, you actually- it's not long in the barrels? It's, it's, not, it's never it's in the like barrels. It's like brandy moonshine. It's like moonshine. It's very much yeah. like cherry moonshine so is what you're about to do. So you're saying it's super strong. It is 40% alcohol, what? so that is high, that's high ABV so as far as- Two ounces of this. Uh, one full ounce of that, if you don't mind, Tammy. Okay, fair enough. One full ounce. All right. There we go. All the way up to the top, I beautiful. To smell it too. Uh, and the last thing is going to be uh, homemade. Uh, this is going to be strong strawberry syrup. <gasps> 
I love, you know I love strawberry I do, syrup. I do, I do know that. So uh, this is a strong strawberry syrup. Uh, I have uh, been letting it sit in my kitchen, um, uh, going through uh, uh, coffee filters to make sure that oh. it is clear. Yeah. It doesn't have that cloudiness. It's nice and clear and delicious and, yeah. and it flows well. Uh, it had a about a pound of cherries oh. in it to make that much. You mean strawberries. Uh, strawberries, I mean, of course. Uh, and you are only going to, I am having a rough time differentiating fruits today. So uh, oh, maybe a little, so good. maybe a little uh, Sesame Street when I get home. You're only gonna put enough to fill up that uh, spoon there. Okay. That's all you need of this. It should just give it a nice pink hue. Like that? Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, all the way in there, perfect. Pull this and on your, on your pancakes. On your panakukin. Oh. Yeah. So good. Pan of cooking. Like, what do you do with this? You take this back home and then what do you do with it? Uh, usually I just make daiquiris out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, just straight, yeah, I just literally just yep. put it with some rum and uh, wake yeah. up three days later. Uh, I'm now a registered uh, registered independent. It's all, it, it, gets, oh. it gets very weird uh, what happens to me there. Uh, go ahead and throw that uh, ice uh, into your uh, glass there. This, sorry, this ice right here. Oh. All the way in there and okay. give that a stir, Tam. Got it. I know some people use the other side of the spoon, but I... I know you use the other side of the spoon. No, I prefer use it with... This is a funny thing. Oh, yeah. I, I like using the spoon as is in the bottom. Oh, I can already smell it from here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a so lot of very distinct flavors in this so one. Good. It is a very delicate, it's very Parisian. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. I take this guy right here. Oh, okay. Boosh. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, my gosh. I mean, come on. Come on. Come off it, my mom would say. Come off it. I know exactly what that means. Bonsoir, Je suis désolé, je ne parle pas français. C'est un cocktail. Uh, the oh. garnish for this one. I told you I speak multiple languages. You do, actually. Yeah, I'm actually very uh, upset that English, now I don't know if you're making fun of me. French, Spanish, yeah. Mandarin, German, rubbish. Have a drink, Tammy. <laughs> uh, so what do we call this? So this is called the Rose. Just the uh, Rose. 1920 from Paris. <gasps> Beautiful uh, floral cocktail. Uh, has a lot going on in it. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna take this out, because I know this will end up on the floor. Sure. Ooh, that's a smooth one. That's a smooth one. Ooh. Yeah. The vermouth absolutely mm. makes that cocktail into something that is mm. a day sipper. Mm -hmm. uh, but that Kirschwasser definitely will sneak up and punch you in the liver. Uh, no doubt about it. It will definitely uh, put you in a bathtub it might take with some a ice. Or two. Right now, yeah. it's like, oh, hello. Yeah. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Well, it's a uh, German, so it'd be like, what's up? Hello! I thought you said it's from France. Uh, no, the Kirschwasser. No, is, the Kirschwasser. Oh, yeah. the Kirschwasser will be in the back. The Kirschwasser will Once sneak right in. Once you start feeling, be like, ha ha! Yeah. Ich war da. Hello. It's, it's like that time I met those yeah. uh, that German and French girl. Mm. Uh, the French girl was really nice, but the German girl stole German my backpack. German and French girl. Yeah. No, no, it's two girls. I met oh. two girls. The German one stole my backpack. She did. The French one was so nice though. I'm sure she stole something too, but I didn't care. She was, that's like that's the thing. That's how they get you. That is. They team up. The Germans yeah. and the French. That's how it famously, is nowadays. That is how they do That's it. That's how the world has changed. The Germans and the French uh -huh. famously team up to mm. get you. This is good. Drink numero tres. Tres. Uh, so this last one is uh, on me. Okay. Uh, I am uh, taking things that I have learned uh, from two of my favorite bartenders of all time. I'm combining them uh, together. Don the beach coma. Nope. Trade a bit. Nope. No. Oh, yuck. No. Tammy Harrison. Hey, uh, bartender. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, no. I'm taking it from Constantino Ribialagua Vert. Oh, okay. So we're getting yes. the Vert. Uh, and I'm also taking a technique from a man named Dave Arnold. Uh, who yeah. is, yeah, I don't talk about Dave Arnold a lot because he yeah. isn't much of a, he doesn't uh, necessarily create uh, cocktails uh, per se. Mm -hmm. He creates ways to make cocktails. He is the mad scientist 
of uh, bartending. Like he, how your wife describes you. At yes, home. yes, yes. But I imagine that his robe is always closed oh, as he's oh, doing this. Okay, yeah. Um, I wanted to uh, find a way to use something that I really like, and so I could not find uh, liquid nitrogen uh, today for some reason. I just oh, don't have that at the bonds. They were all out. They were all out at the yes. bonds, uh, okay. so I could not get liquid nitrogen. So uh, I did want to find a way to infuse a rose mm -hmm. uh, into a cocktail. Uh, so uh, the next best way to do it is yes. through Tammy's favorite piece of equipment, uh, the blender. Uh, so I will be doing Ugh. the blender today, Tammy. Ugh. You don't, you don't worry your pretty uh, red head about this. Uh, we are just going to uh, plug this guy you. in. Yeah. I hate you. This is a good one. I hate you with a passion. Oh, he's so nice though. There he's gonna get us right. My being. <laughs> we are going to make. Uh, uh, I have to make two of these uh, in order to get this done. So uh, we are going to be making a uh, classic. See, you can't even, see, it's already getting you. It's in there, it's, it's in there it now. It will hold you in your sleep, <laughs> Scott. Uh, we are going to be making a classic uh, cocktail uh, from uh, Constantino Ribialto Verde. This is okay. his daiquiri uh, number four. Uh, just a quick look around. We don't have sugar cubes in here, do we guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, can I grab some of those? Yeah, there we go, thank you. Okay. Good work, everybody. Uh, we're gonna be taking, to, uh, we're making two of these, one for you, one for me. Yes. Because uh, in order to blend it right, you need that much liquor. Of course. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put in two sugar cubes. Yes. Two delicious sugar cubes. Uh, now, uh, this is where we will be using all of that lime. Uh, Tammy, do you mind if you, you pass me that squeezer? squeezer? Yeah, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna give people time to ask questions this time, because <laughs> last time it was just a mess. <laughs> Just a mess when we did that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze uh, all of this lime in here. Now, Constantino would tell me never squeeze a lime with a, a squeezer, uh, and that's fine. Why? Uh, because we are losing, if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see, there is a lot all of the it. Oils all you those can see. oils yeah, that are flying can, yeah. out, they're not flying into the, uh, into the, to the Did uh, he squeeze it with his hand? He did, yeah, he was always a hand squeezer, oh. uh, Constantino was. He was the king of cocktails down in, uh, in Cuba, okay. really kind of a cool guy. So one lime per a cocktail that you're making there. Love it. Yeah, uh, we are, uh, so we have the lime, uh, we have the uh, sugar. Yep. Uh, we of course are going to have to grab some rum. Uh, we're gonna be using this guy right here. This is Havana Club, a Puerto Rican. This is a Cuban whoop, style whoop. of a Puerto Rican. Can I have my jigger there? Absolutely. Thank you. We're gonna be putting in two ounces, but if you're making two, uh, go ahead and put in those four ounces Hell all the way. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, and we are going to add a touch of sweet, a touch of bitter, a touch of delish in uh, Luxardo Maraschino yeah. liqueur. Uh, Get the not color a lot. In there. Not a lot. Get the uh, color in there. Yeah, you can eyeball this. One of those should do you well. I like a little bit of that. One of those should do you well. Now, really, all you're doing, the reason I had to make two of these. Uh, as we were going is because we needed to fill up the liquid past the blades of the blender. Gotcha. Now, in order to make this the uh, the cocktail that it is, <gasps> uh, we are going to take actual rose uh, petals. Is it okay to eat rose petals? It is, of course, okay to How eat rose petals. How do you know petals. that? Huh? How do you know I that? I ate 10 of them yesterday. You did, really? Well, I was prepping this cocktail, so. Did you so eat, okay. I did, yeah. Maybe uh, it has a 24 hour thing and then you die. Uh, I would be dead by now, so we're all good. You ate them 24 hours ago? Uh, I mean, I've been eating rose petals all week. There's a there's really? a whole sale on rose okay. petals right oh, now. Uh, the big holiday coming up. We're just gonna put the uh, the petals of a full rose Love it. Uh, in there. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick uh, puree. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go a little harder than that. We're gonna go chop. There it is. Ooh, look at that go! We're getting all of that pink out of here, yeah. and now we have a beautiful pink uh, cocktail. This cocktail, I don't know if I've even said the name of it, uh, is called the Rose et Vert, the pink and green in French. Yeah, okay. uh, Constantino What's... Ribialto okay. Vert's name is Constantino Green. We're gonna go ahead and just get all of those little rose bits out. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, uh, we're gonna take this last a little guy, we're gonna float this on the opposite side of our cocktail. And there we have the Rose et Vert. Uh, it is a uh, basically a daiquiri that is a Constantino Vert daiquiri that has been infused with rose. Uh, always, always better uh, if we That's can. Beautiful. Uh, if we can make a drink look pretty. I'm gonna grab this in the meantime. Just grab that, Tam. 
Le rose est vert. Le rose est vert. Le rose est vert. Cheers. To you. To... It sounds like I'm speaking in French here. To you. <laughs> to you. And to... To me. you as well, Tammy. To you and to there me. There is the problem. We are going to drink our wrist. Cheers. Uh, honestly, we will mm. check in tomorrow to let you know if either one of us died from drinking roses. Yeah, from Apparently beyond. people are very concerned about from us. From beyond. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Very rosy. It's got a lot of rose in it. Yeah, it's rose but without the rose mm. water. All right, let's do a quick recap. Yeah. This would be brunch. Yeah. This would be slightly after lunch. Sure. And this would be to end the evening. I love it. We've come to an end. We have. This is it. We always do. I mean, it's for an somehow, end. Somehow we always do. For this show. Yeah. This is maybe where the party begins when the camera is off. Yeah. No one knows what happens no in Awesome knows. Town. Nobody does. No one knows. I usually just go home. I had so much fun. Here you go, Scott. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, Scott. Cheers. Until next time, I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Cheerio. I can only describe it as naughty water. I think it's like a, like a rose in mm. that it's uh, nice up front, uh, mm. but on the bottom, pricky, prickly, sticky thornies. Yeah, it'll, it'll get you. Yeah. This one will get you. Like that German girl stole See? my backpack. <laughs>